Welcome once again here, ladies and gentlemen, to the DreamHack Pro Circuit, day number two, live from Dallas, Texas, where we just concluded with the biggest upset we have seen so far with EG finding the win over G2. But we are just getting started. Hello and welcome. I am your host, Wade Dread, not Penfold, throughout the entire weekend. Up here with me, I got Gibbs and I've got Turtle Guys. And now it is the moment a lot of people at home have been waiting for. Kicking off Group B, it is going to be none other than NRG, number one of North America, up against Renault Vitality, number one of EU. So this matchup is coming probably 24 hours before everyone expected. We expected this to be the finals, yeah. and we're getting it a little bit early. I, we are very spoiled to see this matchup, but this is the one everyone wants to see. And I want to see the comparison between Justin and Scrub Killer, the, the, the dynamic fight that we've been, we've been wanting to see this entire time. Yeah, the mechanical gods, if you will, here of both of these rosters. But lucky enough for you here, we actually managed to be able to get Scrub Killer and sit him down and hear some of his thoughts, not only on partaking in DreamHack here, but also being a part of the roster of Renault Vitality. Well, coming into DreamHack, it's really exciting and really good. I think it's amazing, honestly, the fact that they're doing four events this year, you know. It's really good for Rocket League and really good for the scene. Playing on stage is really good because I think just the fact that there's a crowd that adds more pressure, but that's actually a good thing for me because I think I perform better under pressure. And sometimes when you're in your house, you can get a little bit, like, unfocused. And then on stage, it's just you're there and, like, the that's it, you know. Well, since last Leipzig, like, I wouldn't say we've changed anything, but it's more we've just actually gotten better together and going into RLCS, we managed to get first as well. So, you know, hopefully <laughs> I can transfer over to this. Well, at Leipzig, we weren't even expected to even make it to the finals, but it was a little bit heartbreaking losing, but this time we've had a lot of time to work and we've been doing really good in RLCS, so I really want to win this time, and that's my goal. For us as Team Vitality, we're quite aggressive, I would say, compared to a lot of teams. We rely a lot on teamwork and also solo mechanics, and, you know, we got the individual star power, so that really helps us shine. So, yeah, but pretty aggressive, I would say. Yeah, we're feeling really strong as a team coming into Dallas. Really excited, ready to win. Here, Scrub kill his thoughts there on the rest of the roster along with DreamHack. But the biggest thing that stood out for me there was the difference between Leipzig into Dallas. There's no expectations into, uh, can you have bigger expectations than what we have here for Renault Vitality? You can't at all, and it seemed like the pressure got to him maybe a little bit on day number one. But Kadop, he knows how to win five European championships in a row. No one is even close uh, to those numbers. Fairy Peak, known as the best 1v1 player in the world. He is an absolute monster. And the best part is, like Scrub was saying, we use teamwork. So they have this 1v1 skill, and then they use it to pass. So Fairy Peak, look out for him to try and set up that man right there, Scrub Killer, known as basically the number two 1v1 player in the world, right behind Fairy Peak. And the versatility on the squad is everything. You know, if they're going for 1v1 plays, like we saw yesterday, Fairy Peak switched it up, getting fakes left and right, proving not only does he have the mechanics to pop off, but also to slow it down. Yeah, and to, you know, add to that teamwork, you know, one one stat that I found so outstanding was that Fairy Peak and Kadop, every 2v2 tournament they had ever played in, they walked away with a victory, showing that they know how to work together. But on the other side here for North America, a team that's not afraid of winning a couple regionals of their own. Yeah, and talking about five-time North America regional champion, Fireburner, he's joined by the four-time North America champion, Garrett G, known as the best player, I would say, in North America, maybe the only one to dethrone him is his own teammate with Justin. And you gotta be watching out. You see him going up for the ball in the air. You have no idea what's coming. Justin, like you said earlier, the mechanical genius that he is, him versus Scrub. Really excited to see how it goes down. The North America MVP, they won all three of them. The best goal scorer, the best assister, and the most saves, all on energy. They dominated this entire season. Yeah, they were a terror of North America. And now I've got to go ahead and ask, just laying out the play styles and must-sees for both sides of the battlefield, because both of them have very unique strikers. They have very unique ball handling capabilities, and I feel like their play style is clashing. This is going to be an interesting one. It's going to be so interesting. It comes down to clean Rocket League, right? Because okay. I feel like energy, 
they are the cleanest team in the entire world. But when Vitality plays clean, I think they have the edge on that mechanical gift because they have Justin for energy. But there's three Justins when you go to <laughs> Vitality, and that's a problem. But Vitality, they are known to double commit once in a while. Oh, that teamwork is not necessarily always there. But for energy, they lost in the semifinals at DreamHack Leipzig to Vitality. But ever since then, they've been on a tear. Yeah. Total. And this is day two. That's what, that's what I'm scared of. <laughs> We've been waiting for day three to see the grand finals right now. And I mean, just to see this match right now is what everybody's excited for. And I think NRG are going to be the, the dominant people here, and especially in terms of flowing as a team. We've seen Vitality kind of take it a little bit too solo-y in times. We, mm -hmm. we always comment that. that yeah. But whenever you have energy, a team that's not so focused on individual plays, I think they're going to take it. Calb, I feel like it's the difference from finding a team that learned to be a team first with mechanical skill versus mechanical skill and then building a team. The latter there yeah. being that of Renault Vitality. But it is time here to lay out the predictions. And I want a line of justification, not just a name here, because this one is such an important matchup for both teams and the entirety of this tournament, and maybe even Worlds for that matter. So I think in a perfect world, I would give this to Vitality. But day one Vitality was not the Vitality that we're used to. I have to give it to Energy because because I feel like their floor is much higher. Okay. But the ceiling of Vitality is probably just a bit higher than Energy. It's a skyscraper. But like Energy is too consistent right now. Vitality's been a little shaky this weekend. I'm going NRG here. Yeah, that's the thing. We're not seeing day three grand finals right now. I think that's the big point here, is that Vitality isn't going in this to the grand finals with confidence, with, with determination. This is just a match to get to day three. And I think that's why NRG are going to take this one and take the cake. Well, man, for how hype of a matchup it is, we are going to sweep the board with North American pride here. I also <laughs> reside on the side of NRG. And for me, it all just comes down to uh, the argument I made of the team who learns to be a team first and the mechanics later versus mechanics into the teamwork. NRG has been so beautiful to be able to watch. And then those moments coming out from Justin, and it's not like he is the only one. So I sit there with NRG as well. The scary part is Vitality. They got to rest. You know, they fell asleep. They woke up. It's a brand new day, right? Vitality in day one not great vitality but you expect them on day number two to find that form yeah and their ability to, to adapt honestly i feel like this is going to go down to the last goal the last second because both teams are going to be fighting so much for that spot two of the best teams in the world here when it comes to rocket league are about to go head to head we're going to waste no time as we dish this over here to our commentary crew and it is going to be none other than corelli and achieves guys Let's go ahead and get this thing underway. Thank you so much, Dreadnought. And yeah, a matchup that we didn't expect in day two, like the desk said. But yes. here we are, a best of five between NRG and Vitality. What are your thoughts? I am very curious to see how much success Justin and Scrub Killer are both able to have. Because throughout the course of the regular season for both of them, it has been crazy individual effort from those two specifically. With those two teams are scoring, it's because Scrubkill is scoring crazy air dribbles, setting the ball up off the backboard, or it's going in the net. Justin's doing the exact same thing. And those two guys have been, you know, just the standout players on their teams throughout the course of the regular season. And it, it's funny, because the one constant I always see is Justin right there. You know, on Twitter, he's always like, I'm in a slump. And I'm yeah. like, I do not believe you. <laughs> yeah, his slump is a lot better than players' best days. So we'll see how that goes. And it's NRG's first time here on the main stage. And let's not forget Vitality. They were beaten by Maus in day one. Yep. That's why this matchup is happening in the first place. But nonetheless, we are here in day two. It's NRG and Vitality kicking off in game number one, a spot for day three. NRG kicks it off in the Vitality side. Vitality can't really get a hold of the ball here. It's going to be Justin oh. throwing it away. Garrett G, he's got a little bit of some oh. space here, and Fairy Peak can't make the save. NRG in the lead by one. Fairy Peak expecting a totally different bounce out of that corner, was headed up the back wall, and then it bounced flat right back to the middle, and good effort to get back there to make the stop, but he got hung out to dry by that bounce. NRG in the lead first. 20 seconds in. Here comes Scrub Killa. Now Kate up. Very peak third man. NRG the long clear. Garrett trying to now follow it up. He does get the touch. It's out to Justin. Fire, fire burner backflips. Justin takes this one full boost. Tries to get a flip here. He does get it. 
And the dunk. Garrett's up for this one off the ceiling. Fireburner waiting patiently back. He knew he had no chance at that one. Great steal by Scrub Kill out of the midfield line and continuing that pressure on the corner. Justin able to beat Fairy Peak on the oncoming challenge. Hit up and support though. Back wall, Fireburner, tough spot, and it doesn't matter. I think Scrupkill actually got bumped by his teammate that threw off the shot angle. Nobody up from NRG there, so yeah, Vitality sabotaging their own shot. And we play on NRG now back in the Vitality side. Garrigi beat out. Fireburner there to clean it up. Scrubkiller trying to make the play on it. Very peak now to the back wall. Can he get a second touch? Garrett's there. Comes out to the midfield. Justin. This is a big touch there. And then Garrett and Fireburner double commit. They might have been going for the pitch, but it doesn't come through. And then it just goes by the defense of NRG. Sloppy play leads to a vitality goal. Yep, NRG pushed too far forward there in the midfield. And just a free one. Back the other way. Fireburner not able to make it back in time. So small miscommunication from NRG, but unfortunately cost an equalizer. Minute and a half in, all tied up. And Vitality will take that goal. Very big, given space. You don't want to do that. Ball thrown downfield. Kadop can't make the touch on Justin. So Vitality from their own end. It's Fireburner tries to drop it down to Justin. Perfectly read by Fairy Peak. Garrett to clear it to the other side of his own half. Fireburner gets bumped out of the way by Scrub, and then he pops it up. No follow-up from Vitality just yet, and what a read from Justin. Fairy Peak still pressing this one on. Can he drop it down? The angle was there, but Garrett cleans it out. Way to pre-jump that save. You thought if k has got time to shoot from that close, it's surely going to go in the net, but oh. now sneaks out of the corner. Fairy Peak up to k and Vitality have some room to breathe here. Justin in a race. Backboard, can he get two? It's oh. towards the net and save. Peak diving in the middle of the box, able to get it out. What a touch from Justin. It doesn't pan out for him. Vitality just barely make the save. All clear comes through. Scrub, the touch on. Justin brings it down. Control to the midfield. And now into the Vitality corner. A missed touch comes out from Kadop. And the demo from Justin. He lets it roll in. Smart plays coming out from the young man. Justin beats one in the midfield. Kadop denies the boost, but it's not enough because he misses the touch in the corner. And Justin immediately went head hunting for the guy in the net. Heads up play and NRG with the lead. Very smart play coming out from Justin. And NRG regain the lead. Here's Kadop. What can Vitality respond back with? Garrett over Scrub. He's got two to go. There's no one home for Vitality. It just goes in for Garrett. And NRG open up a 3-1 lead. Off the backboard, it's just Scrub Killer not able to make the adjustment around him. Oh, so close. And Fairy Peak also, they were talking about it on the desk. The double commits are sometimes a problem, and it gives a two-goal lead now over to the North American Regional Champs. Two minutes left to play. Time for Vitality. NRG pressing on. Justin once more. Can't get past the first defender of Vitality. Fireburner's there. Now Garrett back into that same corner. Does he get a second touch? The angle across. Justin was there, but Vitality able to clear this one out. Now we go. transition. Space to work with. Scrub trying to get a hold of this ball and flips it past NRG, but it's just wide of the net. Kadop was over there waiting for it. I believe NRG bumped him out of the way. Second touch. Can't get it. Not able to find it inside the net. Fireburner. Not able to stick close to that ball. Vitality have another chance at it. Scrub killer lofts one towards net. Easy clear for Justin. Up to Garrett G towards the Vitality half. And Kadop to Scrub killer now. And you can see what Vitality's trying to set up. It's just so predictable for NRG right now. They're always there. And no one can follow this one up from NRG. The pass over. Scrub tries to get the shot on target. Fire does a good job to read that one out. This ball just floating. A miss comes out from Vitality. And NRG will take over. Another miss on the clear. 50 seconds left. Needs NR something. NRG in a comfortable lead here. A shot comes out from Kadop, but easily saved away by Justin. And here comes Garrett. Thrown off the back wall, and a long clear comes out. Vitality on the counter now. A missed touch in the corner. The follow-up off the post again for Vitality, plagued by inaccuracy. And surprisingly enough, from all people, Kadop, the man who I would 
always bet on to find that one into the net. Garrett G just wastes time. He just leaves the ball, and Fireburner comes in and punches it home. So it looked like Garrett was trying to go for the demo instead of the shot. He just leaves it as Scrubs hanging on his back wall, and Fireburner says, thank you very much. I'll clean up the play, and NRG with 19 seconds left look poised to take game number one. A formality for the remainder of 20 seconds, barring a straight miracle from Vitality. And Fireburner will waste more time off the clock. So game number one, honestly, it could have been much tighter, but surprising lack of accuracy from perhaps the best striker in the world in Kadop, not able to find the back of the net in a couple of situations. And every single goal in game number one, unassisted. So NRG will take down Vitality in their first game. And like you said, a lot of the shots coming off the post. Vitality just couldn't find their mark. It's really what was the difference here. They had a lot of pressure, too, on the Vitality half. Uh, ten shots to six for NRG, and Scrub Killer was doing a great job winning a lot of those balls in the, that challenge game in the midfield. Speedy transitions. Here's the one that they did get. Scrub, even k didn't come up with that touch. Granted, he was out of boost, but NRG, that oh. was disgusting save from Fairy Pete. A good touch there from Justin, and then Garrett just decides to fly over the Vitality defense, a little flyby. And that double commit is really what take that, takes that game and puts it in a whole new light, you know, and that was, again, that, that last little <laughs> turnoff from Garrett G. Says, now you're in a bad spot. Mm -hmm. Let's let Fireburner deal with it. And so Vitality, honestly, a small price to pay if it just cost KDOP, you know, going 0 for 3 in, in a surprising fashion, because that could have been a totally different game. Well, I feel like it was something I pointed out here is everything Vitality do was doing felt predictable. NRG yes. really weren't put under much pressure, and Vitality looked good at times. And sure, they had a couple very close chances off the post, but NRG did a great job to shut down a lot of what Vitality was trying to do. It really just came off of big mistakes from NRG on the defensive end. So Vitality have some things to think about here. We move into game two. And curious to see if we continue to have our unassisted goal streak. No one's been able to find the back of the net with help yet. Fireburner and Garrett G will line things up here. KDOP will take it off the backboard. Justin applying a little bit of pressure. It's not necessarily to win the ball or anything. It's just to not allow Vitality to get that long clear up the field. And Fireburner keeps it close. He's got Justin in the middle. He wins the challenge. Top of the box and saved by KDOP. Fireburner trying to muscle that one by, and now Justin had everyone thinking when he popped that ball up. Fireburner does go, gets a slight touch. Vitality will get out. Now Scrub over one. He gets taken out of the play, and Garrett there to make the save. And again, pressure coming for Vitality in the midfield, but follow-up, not able to always win the ball cleanly. Scrub has to buy some space for Vitality here. Free ball for Fairy Peak. Launches one towards the backboard. Easy enough for Fireburner. Up the side, Kadop now in charge. Demo for his efforts, but it is back into the NRG corner. Scrub Killer figuring out what Fireburner's gonna do. Slow follow-up, took him a bit of extra time to get his wheels back on the wall and follow the ball. Garrett G and Justin gonna be pressuring Fairy Peak, but Justin went for the boost grab. Left Garrett in the one-on-one, -on -one, and Fairy Peak is more than comfortable in the net in that situation. Justin almost got two to go there from Vitality, tried to fake. The air dribble, and now here comes Kadop trying to force it through Garrett. It does come down off the ceiling, but no one there from Vitality to follow up. Still pressing on. This one's going to drop down. All of NRG is there. It lands in Garrett's lap. He'll take a full boost and get out. And Scrub made a great read. He was actually in the perfect spot to block that ball, but just a little too high. Save from Scrub Killer. Follow up by Justin and make it two for him now. And NRG can't pierce Vitality's goal line either. Vitality now on the transition. NRG does well to slow that one up and regain control, but with Fireburner with no boost, they'll have to win a couple challenges. It does come out to Garrett. Looking for that back wall, but you know Fairy Peak's so quick to get up there. And Fairy once more pushes this one into the NRG side. Two minutes have come and gone. Still a tied game here. Hotly contested here in game number two. Garrett can't get past Scrub. Now Fairy Peak over Justin. Scrub Killer in the NRG corner. Now Fairy Peak there to support. This pass coming across. It's cut out by Garrett. NRG trying to go on the transition and a good dunk by Garrett. Big block. I agree from Garrett. Could have really 
allowed Vitality a lot of pressure if he didn't get the nose on it. He got this ball stuck in the NRG corner for so long. It's just been so tough to follow up the plays. Backboard for Justin. It's going to be out of frame. Fireburner will just keep things going, but they'll have to back off a little bit here. Scrub Killer not in position to catch the follow-up from KDOP's touch. Justin, free ball for Vitality as he dumps it off to Scrub Killer. Great challenge from Fireburner and into the Vitality corner, out into the middle. Justin's there first, backboard, and KDOP there to make the save. It was off target. Vitality not willing to take the chance. As time continues to burn here, and finally NRG now stuck in Vitality's corner. Finally a miss, and backboard not in frame, and Fairy Peak waits patiently in the net. That was a moment there for NRG. If that one was on target, NRG trying to come through, and Garrett just comes through and puts it away. Vitality can't get a hold of the ball. It's off the side. Fairy Peak doesn't go for it, and Justin just tips it right off the ceiling and says, make the save, KDOP. Can't do it, Garrett G. Thank you very much. Minute 35 on the clock. Now you got to break out something. A late goal drops for NRG after a defensive mishap from Vitality. Now Justin. It goes over to Garrett. Justin trying to get a flick on. He almost gets it. Garrett goes right past the last defender. What happened to Vitality? Well, KDOP didn't have much boost here. He's going into the net. Just one-on-one -on -one versus Garrett. Overdrove it a little bit. And Garrett G all the way in. And NRG... Comfortable two-goal lead out of nowhere. It was a deadlock. Nobody really able to get a bunch of quality scoring opportunities. And in the space of 10 seconds, NRG up by two. Vitality have some work to do here in game two. And maybe this could be their first way back. A touchdown from Scrub. The follow-up was there. Fireburner able to take this one out. Not a lot of boost to work with. Garrett gets the demo on Ferry. Scrub does well to get this one out. Garrett now with no boost, trying to go past Ferry Peak. Can't do so. Scrub, it comes out to KDOP. Can he make some magic happen for Vitality? Ferry Peak into the NRG corner. He does get a touch out. Vitality not there. And Garrett, the long clear to the side wall. 45 seconds left, and Garrett still going downfield for NRG. Still pressing on. Can they get a third goal? Nobody up. Staying back, patient from NRG. Justin, so dangerous. Coming off that side wall, Garrett. Pushed away by KDOP, Vitality. Maybe their last gasp of air here. 20 seconds left. Smart touch from Fireburner to take that back into his corner. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the ball out. Fairy Peak so close, but not enough. And the final 10 going to tick down. He's got Garrett G off the side wall, and that'll waste precious seconds, and thankfully it's wide. We won't have to play any longer. Fireburner has his last-ditch effort. Not good, but NRG up 2-0 in the series, threatening the sweep of Vitality. NRG have looked strong through two games, especially in this one in particular. A flurry of shots, a couple goals go through, but it comes off of big mistakes from Vitality, and that's the key point here, is NRG just capitalizing on some mistakes. And Vitality rarely able to get that ball unstuck out of the corner. And that was a tough play for KDOB, that ball coming straight off the ceiling like that. That was just Justin putting it in a place where something might happen. That missed touch, KDOP overdriving it. Again, maybe expecting to have to deal with that touch from Garrett G. <laughs> expecting something different. There's Gregan and Chrome, the two coaches with the teams right next to him. One happy and one slightly miffed. Completely <laughs> opposite reactions, <laughs> I'm sure, to every goal. You can see Fireburner on your screen there. Done so well for NRG to keep them poised. On the other side, Vitality find themselves now down two games against NRG in a matchup that a lot of people expected to go the distance. I mean, you'd believe it. And Vitality, I was hinting at it a little bit, really struggling to get that ball stuck out of the corner from NRG. It's spending a lot of time on those sidewalls, and it feels like, you know, Vitality, they've got some pretty good challenges going, but the problem is that follow-up, because a lot of the times, even if they get the challenge over the person that's coming at them, the guy going at the challenge for NRG has just punched the guy that hit the ball out of the play, and it stops that dangerous vitality support that's been so good throughout the European League play. It's cost them that extra time to get back into the play. And so here in game number three, vitality needs something. They've only found one goal fairly early on in game number one. And NRG slowly picked him apart. Game three underway, vitality already in possession. Justin cuts that one out towards the midfield. 
now Scrub trying to find the back wall on the follow-up. Justin just dribbling this one across. Normally a death sentence to come off the backboard so weak like that, but he's got boost here in the midfield. This is where he's made oh, people high. dance, and he goes over the top. Scrub kill able to get the nose on it, tip it to safety, and out to Kadop. And Garrett G, not a clean pickup. Here come Vitality, not able to get that dribble around Fireburner in the corner. High touch, tough play. They were getting bumped in. It will still not go in. Follow up by Scrub Killer, blocked by Fireburner. NRG, I don't know how they pulled that out. Vitality are that close to scoring a goal here against NRG, and they just can't do it. If it's the inaccuracies, then it's not able to put it away on the goal line. Big defensive stop there for NRG. They win that challenge in the midfield line as well. Easy save for Fairy Peak, however. Justin in charge, goes high. Kadop already waiting for it. Out in the corner, Garrett G trying to keep it as close as possible. Let's Grub Killer go right over it. Beautiful fake. Falls off the nose, though. Probably not a lot of boost, but for that wave dash catch. Just buying some space for NRG. Justin floating in the Vitality corner. You can see the respect that Vitality do give him when he goes up for it. Now Scrub Killer trying to drop that one down. It comes right into Justin's lap and slowly dribbling this one out, making the defenders think on Vitality. Garrett beats the first defender. It's Fairy Peak on the save. Now Scrub, trying to find this one out for Vitality. Fireburner, not able to follow that one up. It's Justin on his near post there. Oh, great steal from Fairy Peak. High bounce, tough play for Scrub Killer. Almost able to fit it under the crossbar. Garrett G not willing to find out if it was on target or not. Blocking out, Kadop's clear. Going for the bump on Fairy Peak, backboard, and Kadop will lend a helping hand, kick it to safety. And Fairy Peak not able to come up with a touch. You can Hi. see NRG rotating through the defensive vitality, always making them think about that first attacker. Here comes Justin, full boost. Can he make something happen? Two collapse on him from vitality. Maybe a transition here. It's stopped up by Garrett. Well, they did just what you said, rotating right through the defense, getting right in their face in that near post. And Justin was willing to wait to see what played out. And well done to Vitality for keeping that one clear. But NRG not quite done yet. Vitality finally find a boomer of a clear up field. Fairy Peak not able to get his hands on the ball though. Stuck again in this NRG corner that Vitality's had so much trouble getting the ball away from. Finally out to the middle, but nobody up for it. Free touch for Fireburner. Out to Garrett G. Long fair attempted there from NRG. Fairy Peak stops that one up. Kadop will turn around for this one. And Scrub Killer on the far side. Can he get a touch? No, it's Justin. Two go from Vitality, a dangerous double commit. NRG not able to capitalize. You can see Justin wanted to go for that boost. Instead, forced to go back. And he does get it to the Vitality corner. And Kadop just forcing Kadop to show his hand, going for that challenge. Allowed Garrett G to get that. Clear on defense, Fireburner uncontested, out to Justin, keeps it close, has Kadop on the hook and goes right under him, cuts left, cuts oh. right, and not into the net, off the post. NRG not able to go the length of the field. Justin, pretty, but not enough. A magician, and now here comes Garrett trying to find that ceiling to get his flip back. Vitality deal with that one nicely. Still scoreless, coming up on a minute left. An opportunity there for Justin, couldn't connect. No boost for Fairy Beak, has to give this one up to Kadop downfield. Vitality looking for their first win here in the series. Fire down the sideline, does get the dunk. This one's gonna drop down in front of the net. Justin goes and actually pinches that one out. Here's Garrett. Again, you can see rotating directly through Vitality. And he gets back to make the touch. And oh, again. what a save from Garrett G. Nobody was back there on the defensive line. If he didn't get that touch, Vitality definitely were about to score. Barry Peak trying to keep the pressure going. Kate off to scrub kill it. It's too far. And overtime looming in game three. Vitality, great pressure here, but still so tough to get it into the middle. Finally over Fairy Peak's head in 10 seconds. 10 seconds down. It's still scoreless. Inside the Vitality half, NRG can't really put anything together here. Justin just going to slow that one down. This ball's going to drop a 0-0 overtime here in game three against NRG and Vitality. I mean, absolutely need something here if you're Vitality. Got to keep this series going. The first round of Group B. We'd hate to start off in the lower bracket. And 
Kate up. Has to take a second look at that bounce. Over the head of Fairy Peak is Justin. He's got Garrett G pushing up field. Backboard, tough bounce, and Fireburner is not able to put it in between the goalposts, but Justin is a clean sweep for NRG through 24 seconds in OT. And nobody home for Vitality. Everyone was drawn out on the play, and it takes NRG 24 seconds in overtime to take down Vitality in a clean sweep. And what a win it was. Held some of the strongest players in all of Europe. A wonderful series. One goal. Wow. In game number one, and after that, dead silence. Vitality just couldn't find the mark, and this is the last play. The series winning goal. Everyone drawn out there from NRG, and Vitality could do nothing about it. A very clean win here from NRG. That's what they said on the disc. NRG, perhaps one of the cleanest teams, and well done to them. Well, we've got more action here at DreamHack Dallas. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. The start of Group B here was an expected to be a banger there between NRG and Vitality, and NRG confidently taking a 3-0 victory here over the top seed of Europe. Guys, I have got to ask, you know, I, I think we expected a little bit more competitive, but, you know, how? what do we think about the gameplay from both sides here? Super clean from energy, uh, as always, but I feel like Vitality, like, it was pretty much a ping-pong game, right? Yeah. They were trying to feel each other out, but defensively, energy was just rock solid. Yeah, I mean, it was the way that the energy squad was keeping possession. I saw so many times where we saw players like Gary G and Justin take it into the corner, and sometimes they wouldn't maintain uh, full closeness to the ball, so they just keep hitting it to the other corner in order to have the third man rotate. So it wasn't even about scoring. It was literally just about keeping the ball on the other side of the field. It was like a reverse hot potato or exactly. something like that. Like just <laughs> yeah. keep, it, keep it on your side. Make sure that the vitality doesn't have the opportunity. And, you know, is that something that we feel like maybe was an adaptation considering it's Renault Vitality? Vitality with the one versus one mechanics and the outplay factor there. You know, I can't help but feel like, you know, Justin seemed like he was sitting a little bit farther back than we normally expect as well. Can you maybe give some insight as to why you think we got that from NRG? So it seems like NRG wants to play that way. They want to spread the field because they don't like to double commit ever. And if you're spread the field more often, then there's really no option for that. But the thing I thought that was so great from NRG when Scrub Kill is going up or Fairy Peak's going up yeah. for 
like a flip reset. There's two defenders. One always jumps. The other one always will be on the ground. So yeah. they're defending both sides of it. And I don't know how you communicate that so quickly every single time, but they do it flawlessly. It's really just a game of starvation. You know, instead of trying to force a goal and get too hungry for it, you just keep it in their half, keep supplying yourselves with the uh, enemy team's boost, and just starve them out as much as you can. And as long as they're not so focused on scoring a goal and keep the rotations clean, there's never going to be a mistake on their end. Now, who is a standout here for you guys and the rest of NRG as we get our top three plays underway? So I feel like with NRG, it's always just like everyone plays their role. Sure, right. like Justin had some aerial dribbles that, that looked really clean, but plays like this, that shot that hits that ceiling curve, Vitality cannot read it, but the same thing happens back on the other side for NRG, and they read it every single time. Just the defense is so clean. Here's that overtime winner. But that was 15 minutes and 24 seconds, yeah. and Vitelli scored one goal that entire series. They are the second best the goal scoring team ever, but Energy's defense is just too much right now. And I really like the the way that Fireburner was actually approaching the ball. I feel like he just the, doing the position that he does all the time is just winning so many challenges for his teams and getting insane dunks. And with here at uh, at the desk with us, we have the Garrett G himself. Gary, uh, you know, specifically bringing to the point, I don't know if you heard it that we heard here from Gibbs talking about how every time somebody would go up in the air for some kind of mechanical outplay against you guys, it seems like you swiftly had one go for the aerial defense and the other make sure they kept their wheels on the ground. How do you guys communicate that in that kind of pacing? Because it seems like you guys are always as a unit the second you need to be. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it comes down to our comms. I think we have the best communication, uh, you know, in the world, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, we really like to calm for each other. You know, it's not just an individual basis. We like to tell each other what to do. So I think that's how we gel so well in, in those uh, situations. Uh, and then besides that, not much else. I think it just comes down to the comms. So basically, you just swept and cleanly swept the second best team in the world, I guess. And now you guys are clearly number one. Can anyone beat you here at all? I mean, I've said we're the best team at the past four tournaments, so we'll see once we get to the semis and finals if we can, uh, you know, close it out. We first have to, you know, beat TSM, obviously, so. And we saw a reaction there from Chrome while you were playing. How much of a, an effect has having him as a coach helped you guys as a roster? Uh, he's definitely the fourth player of our team. You know, he's just as important. You know, we're on the field, but, you know, he's, he's out there working on strategies every single day. He puts in as much work as we do. So he's a big part to our success. You know, I'd like to say we would do it without him, but he really has helped us so much that, uh, you know, he, he's a really, really good coach. Before we move on, you know, I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on the comms. I want to hear a little bit more on this topic. <laughs> Just as a guy who's been a part of professional comms, I think they're one of the most inter interesting elements that exist. Like, do you guys have, like, a coding system to keep words efficient? Like, what do you guys focus on with those words? Or is it more just, you know, leading the pack, as you were talking about, indicating what you think others should be doing in those moments? Yeah, I mean, when you're playing, you're so tunnel vision that, you know, someone behind you has way better vision. Um, I don't want to give too much away, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of here and give everything away. But, uh, yeah, just like I said, we communicate for each other. It's, and, you know, instead of just, I got it, I got it, it's it's more detailed than that. And, you know, like I said, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> so The hive mind of NRG leads them to here be what we can expect to be likely the best team in the world if they haven't proven it through to there. They may through the rest of this tournament here. We now got to see with the victory from NRG where they reside in the groups and where everyone else here is here as we take our glance so we're halfway through the groups for group number b but complexity had a big result a 3-0 perfect sweep on psg and psg is out they lost to icon as well so they are done which is a very surprising uh, result there the renegades they also lost to barcelona i believe it was but energy versus tsm a little bit later barcelona versus complexity and eg being a big hope now for north america taking out E2, something that nobody honestly expected. So I'm pretty excited to go forward uh, to watch EG and see what they have to offer. I'm really excited as well, man. This this group B, the group of death, I, I feel like it was exactly kind of how we expected for some good competitive plays, except maybe that for NRG coming in and crushing our hopes and dreams, or maybe more so that of Renault Vitality. We are, in fact, going to go to a commercial break, and when we come back, we got ourselves some more Group B Rocket League action.